Hi my friends, today we model this part which is uh, pretty interesting. This is the drawing with all dimensions and you have here an unfolded sketch to find out where are the bending lines. This one, this one, this one and this one. Let's start. Standard millimeters IPT sketch this plane XZ we draw a rectangle with dimensions 90 and uh, 125 125 we place this midpoint to the center point and we continue by creating some ellipses the first one is uh, tangent here and here and the other one have the same center but is a uh, smaller trim these two place dimensions this is uh, 30 and this is 83 and two dimensions needed are tangencies let's see apply here and here if I apply remove we find also zero because they are constraints and not dimensions good these dimensions are here 30 90 and the others finish sketch extrude the other direction 7.5 this dimension is here good now we have to bend this uh, part this is not a sheet metal part this is a part do you know where is the tool for bending here somewhere if not I tell you that tool is this one we draw a line here from left to right horizontal line and we place it tangent to the smaller ellipse finish sketch then we apply bend part we select the line and we select the side this is the side we want to use yes the default values are 10 millimeters for the radius we use 2.5 millimeters and the angle for us is 60 you see okay this is the result my friends next line is placed at uh, 61 coming from up down 
face, sketch, line from end to end, horizontal line at a distance of 61. 61. Finish sketch. Again, bend. Now this is the side already selected and we use this. The angle is not 60 but 30 to obtain a vertical for the other bending. Okay. It follows the third line which is 36 and the last is 20. 36 on this face a new line horizontal line from end to end with a dimension of 36 finish sketch bend now the angle is again 30 degrees so we don't have to change anything here we only select the line for bending okay you see how it looks then another last bending line at 20 the line is from somewhere to here with trim to the left and the distance of 20 Finish sketch, bend, part, and we select this. But the angle is again 60, like at the beginning. Good. If we go to the model, we see these two cylinders dimensions 33 50 and 15 is the extrusion and diameter of 10 let's get this uh, feature which contains two cylinders I draw a line with a length of 50 I place it at 33 from the bottom thirty-three and I place on the same vertical the midpoint of the line with the center point my friend or projection of the center point then I made this line as a construction I draw a circle of 10 and another one here with the same dimension like the first one finish sketch extrude 1 2 15 okay now I am here and I apply 2.5 fillets everywhere almost everywhere because you know that we have all 
fillets are radius 2.5 now you will see something uh, interesting I select this ok but I expected to have uh, all these uh, edges also filleted we don't find this more than this look here this is okay it seems to be okay but it is not since we have uh, an error here but when we continue the error disappears I suppose that uh, again the same situation I suppose that this uh, bending was added but they wouldn't respect all the possibilities now we make something by selecting each edge if you have uh, another part without such uh, bendings you have uh, this contour all filleted at one time see my previous tutorial okay now it's simple we apply a view of shaded we place the material which is uh, stainless steel and we try to see what is the volume of this new object physical update copy close drawing double click and this is the result it is not the same but maybe I made a mistake here you have the procedures you have the result and that's all important for you and for me okay now comes an interesting topic what I present here is based on the existence of the components that appear in the assembly regarding this modeling you have two options one to contemplate what I do and apply my actions by creating your own components of this assembly and two try to create the assembly using the actual components you see in the tutorial if you want to create this assembly independently you must own the component that is uh, they must be yours a separate creations that I made for the purpose of showing practical aspects in the tutorial you can download the components only from assets access to assets is done by subscribing minimum to the level journeyman membership you see here the levels of membership core journeyman patron professional excepting core the other ones includes the previous ones that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye